a new company has introduce themselves to the HVAC market, getting into an industry that's growing, an industry that is, as a lot of you folks have commented in our videos, have said an industry that's getting more expensive. And we're seeing a lot of companies, companies like Amazon, companies like Google, all these companies insert themselves into the industry in one way, shape or form. And now we're seeing the latest being Walmart. So if you go to walmart.com and click on their services tab and then go to, I think it's the home or products and forget the verbiage that it uses and then click HVAC installations, you'll be taken to this page where they will provide you with an affordable service provider, I believe is the verbiage that I've been reading in some of the news articles where they've made this announcement. And before you say, Josh, you're just upset because this hurts your business, that all these contractors that are taking advantage of people, this hurts you. For the record, if you've never seen my videos or if you don't know, I'm not in the game anymore. I don't own a heating and air business anymore. I used to. I sold that business six months ago during the recording of this video. I think that's important to know. I am genuinely a third party opinion here. And I think that you as a customer, a homeowner should know, no offense to the folks that are a part of this program with Walmart, but I think consumers need to know that any time a company has inserted themselves into that relationship, you, the homeowner, is going to be the one that ends up paying for that. So we see all these companies, whether they use their influence or their website to create lead generation. And so they'll send those leads to a, a company in some way. And in my opinion, this should be very simple. I think that a homeowner should be able to hire a contractor and that contractor be able to provide that homeowner with a brand of heating and air equipment that they love and believe in and will honor the warranties for and stand behind. And that should be it. There should be no crazy websites that anybody should have to pay money to. You guys know how I feel about companies like Home Advisors and Angie's List and even the Better Business Bureau all these different companies that find a way to make money off of these industries, companies like Yelp and websites like that have figured out ways to make money off of that relationship. And now we see all these big retailers. You, you almost can't go into any of the big ones anymore. Any of the big box stores, the hardware stores, seems like if you go to a, a club, like a Costco or a Sam's Club, all these different stores, all of them offer HVAC installations now. And you might say, well, they're allowed to get into that business. They're not a part of the business. Even Walmart here, all they're doing is capturing that information. And don't hold me to this. I could be a little bit wrong here, but basically that customer needs that service and Walmart is going to profit off of that in some way. How they're doing it, I don't know. I'm not a part of the program, but I do think that that should be noted. No offense to Walmart, no offense to the contractors or dealers or even the manufacturer that's now, I believe it's Bryant, which is a carrier company is partnering with Walmart on this. But I think consumers, if you are a homeowner or a consumer about to buy a heating and air system, you need to know that they are making money off of this. That if you buy a heating and air system at Costco or Home Depot, or even on one of these online websites that offer a free way to connect you with the best contractors in your area and the most affordable ones or however they word it, all of those companies are figuring out a way in some way, shape or form to make money off of that. It's not the contractor that's going to be paying towards that. And if they are, then they're a lot of times going to have to push that cost onto you, the consumer, at the end of the day, whenever these big players like this get into our industry, it I tell you what it does is it shows us how lucrative this industry really is. It tells you how these guys can really make some real money and that they are inserting themselves in there. So I just think that's important to know. I'm not trying to bash anybody. If it's convenient for you, if the homeowner thinks that this is just an easy way to find a good contractor, fine. But I do think it's important to know that. I have had companies come to me and want me to do this with our website and our influence. And I've had to tell them, no, I'm not interested in that game. You're talking about a business relationship that would already be there, that a homeowner and a contractor would be able to do business with one another. And you, I mean, to be completely honest with you, I look at it as someone that is leeching off of that industry, that relationship that would be there. 
And so I know that's a horrible, probably way to say it, but I think it's a fair analogy. I think it's a, again, a, a relationship, a business transaction that would be done. And anytime a marketing company, a lead generation company, a retailer is going to insert themselves either as a middleman or on that relationship some way, shape or form. And they're not actually genuinely adding any real value at the end of the day to that relationship. I'm not a fan of that. I've got a problem with that. I think it's a, it's something that should be noted. I'll tell you the other thing, and one of the articles that I read talked about this is we're going to see more of this. You're eventually, because this industry is growing and because there's so many opportunities to do well in this industry, you're going to see more and more companies. You're going to go to get your oil change at a quick lube place and they're going to offer HVAC installations and they're going to get a cut off of that relationship, right? You're going to go get McDonald's and go through the drive through and they're going to offer it. I mean, it's just, where is it going to end, right? Until consumers, you guys, wise up and say, I'm not dealing with that until these companies actually lose money when they do these things and go on these ventures. I think that they're going to continue to insert themselves in relationships with, with that. Everybody wants to be the middleman or the end all and then profit off of that. And that's the American way. I, I know I'll probably get comments on this video because I always do. Josh, that's just capitalism. Fine. But again, it's not money out of my pocket. I get paid either way, right? Uh, I'm gonna make money off of this video either way. It doesn't hurt me any, it just gives me more content to make videos about. Who it hurts is you guys watching this video. You guys that are about to buy a heating and air system, you're about to hire a heating and air company, and now because there's 10 other companies, one creating leads, one doing the marketing, one doing the phone calls work and one providing the CRM and one doing the billing. And I just can keep going on and on and on. And what it does at the end of the day is it takes a job that could or should cost 300 bucks to do plus materials, another 300 bucks. So a $600 job and then makes it a $1,200 job, right? At the end of the day, it's the consumer that ends up paying for this stuff. So I'm not telling you to not use this service. I'm not telling you that it's a bad service. I'm not telling you you should not do business with anyone that's a part of this program. I'm just simply saying, here we go again. Here's another company that has nothing to do with heating and air profiting off of that part of our industry. No offense to Walmart. I buy stuff from Walmart from time to time. The things they do and they do well, great. They do them well but it's just like a company advertising services that they don't actually offer just so they can get paid on the referral or the lead or whatever. I'm just reporting the information. Don't sue me, Walmart or Bryant. I, I just think that you know consumers need to know what's going on here. That said, if you're watching this video, what are your thoughts? Do you have any concerns on this? Has this affected your price? If you are gathering quotes, have you seen services like this or companies like this, maybe their price being higher for one reason or another? I'd love to hear about that. Comment down below. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I talk about some of the mistakes that HVAC contractors make that cost you money. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.